What's up guys? Uh, I'm here with Chad from Optical Visions Media. Um, he's going to show us today how he shoots his Instagram like feature videos of cars. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's get it going. So as far as gear, um, what are some of the essential things you need? Camera and a gimbal is ideal for a setup. Uh, you can also use steady cams. You can buy glide cams. Uh, they're cheaper, like four or five hundred bucks. They're just counterweighted instead of actually uh, uh, motorized. Um, and then on top of that, on my gimbal, I have a field monitor, which is a secondary seven-inch display, so I can actually see what I'm filming. Um, and that's really the basics that I quote unquote need to film a video. For somebody just starting out, really all you need. What are some of the things you want to plan out ahead of time? If you're trying to shoot a planned out uh, professional type shoot, have your location in mind, know your subject, uh, have a shot list in mind, know the shots you want to get, where you are, so you don't have to worry about that later. Um, that type of thing is the basics you need to have to be prepared. Right on, dude. Well, uh, without further ado, let's go get shooting. All right, let's do it. Cool. All right, so gear's all set up. Um, first thing I usually do is I get establishing shots. So I set the area we're in, the setting we're in, time of day, um, what's going on around us, that's, that sort of thing. So um, right now we're on the top of the parking garage at Oregon State, so there's not a whole lot interesting. But the weather is kind of iffy right now. It's very gloomy feeling, so I'm gonna try and use that to my advantage because we're filming a black car today. So I want it to kind of look moody and kind of dark. Um, and the, the ground is wet, so I'm gonna try to highlight that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna walk around the area we're in right now and try to highlight those key factors that I wanna showcase in this video. Uh, I'm gonna get all of my establishing shots on the ground with the road in. So we're gonna do that right now. So I think I want to use a bit of uh, foreground background right now. Um, I had an idea where I hold my camera directly over here, straight down, and when he comes underneath me, I'd pan up with him. But then when I saw this railing, I realized I could shoot through it, and if I get close, it becomes super blurry, and I can pan him, pan with him as he goes up, and use the foreground of this passing by the camera to add some depth to it. right here and like in my frame right now a third of it is this car's bumper so I'm gonna pan around right as he's coming around the corner and we're gonna use this depth of field to kind of add a, another element to the shot I'm gonna be here and he's gonna come from this direction he's gonna come straight toward me he's gonna come up along this wall here and then I'm gonna tell him to air out while I'm panning away from the car. car is in its position, uh, what I'm going to do is go around the car and look at details. And pretty much I just go around the car and I just highlight highlight different parts. So, Because when I go back in post I can always rearrange it. I don't have to go around the car in all my shots. I can get a shot of the wheel, I can get a shot of the, uh, the wing, I can get a shot of the spoiler, the chin spoiler, that kind of thing. You can always re-edit it. So I shoot in a circle basically, but I re-edit later. Another big thing for me is keeping reflections away. So for a black car, you should always shoot with a uh, CPL, which is a circular polarizer typically. Um, right now I have an ND running because I want high depth of field between the car and the background. Um, but shooting this headlight, if I stand right here, I can see myself in the headlight and I do not want that. One of my biggest pet peeves is shooting in shooting video is seeing yourself in the video. When you see yourself holding the camera in a reflection, that's an automatic fail for me. So 
I got all the detail shots of the car. I got all the wide shots of the car. So to wrap it up for something simple like this, um, I just try to think of a way to like show the car leaving, driving away in some sort. What's up guys? Uh, we just got back from shooting with our guy Toe and we're gonna go over some basic editing tips. All right, uh, so what's the first editing tip you got? So first one, speed ramping. So for example, he came around the corner uh, and parked his car and then aired out. That shot kind of got drawn out. He was having a little bit of an issue with his air because it wouldn't let him air out while he was rolling. To fix that in post, we could add a speed ramp. So if you did that, it would be fast motion, him coming around the corner, stopping, and then maybe you would cut back to normal speed and then he would air out. So all you have to do to do that in post is split your clip and change the video speed of it. Whether you're in Final Cut, Premiere, whatever it is, you can still do that. Tip number two we got is um, reversing clips. So, okay, so for example, uh, I talked about this a little bit when we were filming, but say you want to get a specific shot uh, and like, let's give an example of a headlight. You want to get a shot of a headlight. This car has crazy custom headlights. Um, you want to get a panning shot from right to left because you want to start with a shallow shot of just the headlight and you want to pan around and see the passenger side of the car. So, all right, that's easy. But, let's say it feels really unnatural to you. So you're leaning on the right side and you're panning around to the left and you're just off balance and the shot's all wobbly and whatnot. No worries. If you feel more natural leaning left to right, do it. Go back and post, and if you really want that shot to be right to left to get that reveal effect, then just flip your flip your clip, just reverse it. The only thing this is uh, could become an issue is uh, when you have things moving around in the background. So say you have people or something like that walking around, you reverse that clip, those people are gonna start walking backwards. But um, that's just something to look out for. Uh, but reversing a clip is easy. If you want a different motion in a shot, mix up your shots a little bit if it's getting monotonous all go in the same direction mix it up just by reversing your clips easy to do tip number three uh, we got effects so effects I use a lot of effects in my videos I should say a lot but I use quite a few um, some of my favorite ones are glitch effects you can get plugins for that which is what I use another simple one is going back in time a little bit in the last video I, sh I talked about the Supreme WRX video I shot the very intro of that video, um, and Aaron can show you in this video, but I had a Supreme logo and then it had a WRX flicker underneath it. And all I did for that was I added text that said WRX, um, I chopped it up so there was like a, a frame, a, a no frame, a frame, no frame, then the text, and then it all cut off. So what that did was it made it like pop in and out of the video. So there text, no text, text, no text, then the text would be there. I added uh, what was called bad TV effect to it, so it made it kind of look like, staticky and whatnot, and then I just lowered the value, so it made it kind of wobble a little bit and look kind of glitchy, and it looked like it would just flicker in and out, and something simple like that, like that's all built into Final Cut. I didn't have to download anything for that, I did it in like two minutes, simple, 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 so Text effects are a thing, video effects are a thing, and don't forget about that because it can kind of spice up what you're doing. It was way more interesting than me just putting WRX. So, simple things like that totally change up your mood.
you so much for giving those tips. And I think that kind of wraps up what we're talking about today. But yeah, thanks so much for um, yeah, helping you. me out with this and coming on and showing us. I appreciate it. Showing us your awesome skills, dude. Yeah, so I hope you guys watch this video, whoever's watching this, and like go create. Create something, make something, get a camera in your hands, shoot something, publish it, get feedback on it. That's how we all start. So. Exactly. Yeah. Subscribe to his channel, Optical Visions Media. I'll put a link in the description down below and check it out. All right. Thanks again, guys. Thanks, Thank Chad. Yeah.